here we are at the back of the truck. New acquisition for the shop. This is a Logan 9 by 24 lathe. This is about the same size, a little less uh, diameter swing than the Atlas I'm restoring now. Uh, they're better quality lathes. Um, it has a V uh, way on it, which allows it to center a little better. Um, this is a gear change lathe, um, which is less desirable than my quick change lathe, in, in that in order to change uh, uh, thread for, for thread cutting, in order to change the speed of the carriage feed, you have to actually mechanically change gears. Uh, still a very nice lathe. Um, <clears throat> it's in really good condition. This is just light surface rust here. It's been on the floor in a garage in a new home for I don't know how long. Um, everything's here as far as I can tell. Uh, I had to go get this lathe because it included this cast iron leg stand. Uh, and this is an actual Logan stand. I was almost more interested in getting the stand than I was in getting the lathe. Um, I need a second lathe. It would be nice to get a uh, another lathe that's operational. Um, this one's a little less than operational. It's got a gear that needs replaced. Uh, obviously it needs cleaned up, but I could in probably a day or two of work get it running and use it to make parts for the Atlas lathe. <clears throat> um, it's got a Leeson motor back there. I don't know if that's original. It doesn't look like an original motor. Um, to me it just doesn't. It seems a little more modern looking than the lathe. The lathe is in 1947 <coughs> according to the owner. It gave me uh, paperwork, uh, parts lists. Uh, parts are still available for this. Uh, I just very quickly looked up the gear that I think I need, and it's $85. I'd really rather make that gear. That's the point of having a lathe. Um, but I might buy it just to get this thing running. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this lathe. I may um, keep the stand and sell the lathe. Uh, it came with, a, there's a little bottom toolbox there. Probably a, a metal Kennedy or something that somebody painted uh, uh, gold, and it's got a lot of stuff in it, which I was really anxious to get that out and go through it. Um, and at some point, I'm go I want to do a video on the art of the deal. Um, and, and maybe that's not a good title, but honor and honor and negotiation, and how you can profit from honor and negotiation. Um, <clears throat> and what I did with this lathe is I had just gotten back from a trip and I had to take my father-in-law to an appointment um, that he couldn't go to himself and I, I caught this ad when it was uh, about uh, 10 o'clock at night it actually was about 9 o'clock at night the day I got home from my trip and it was uh, six hours old and I sent the guy a, a text response or actually, I called the guy and talked to him about... Actually, no, let me back up. I sent the guy a text response to which he called me back. And we spoke for a few minutes. And I agreed to buy the lathe. And I agreed to pay the full price that he wanted for the lathe and the stand. Um, which wasn't, wasn't a lot. It was a very modest price. Only uh, $550. And I did so because I wanted to, I needed time to go get the lathe. It was about an hour away from me. Uh, my entire next day was full of taking care of my father-in-law's needs. And if I had just made an appointment to go look at this lathe, it would have been gone by the time I got there. Now, when I went to pick this lathe up, his why I paid him uh, before I looked at the lathe. I mean, more than just a cursory look at the lathe, because I'm a man of my word, and that's what I said I would do. So I paid him, and he showed me everything about the lathe. His wife came out and said that she had at least five names of people who were ready to come get this. And one guy was bugging her, calling her um, over and over, you know, has he come yet, has he come yet, you know, you know, if he doesn't show up, I'll be right out to get it, etc., etc. 
Now, he didn't have to hold this lathe for me, but by offering, by telling him that I'm going to buy the lathe and I'm going to give you your full price for it, it, it meant that he didn't have to hassle with anybody else. He only had to hassle with this one person, the first person who responded to him, and he wasn't going to get there and try to bend his arm and, and get another 50 or $100 discount on what he was selling. He was getting exactly what he wanted for his, um, for his lathe. And, and I think that's fine. Now, could I have beaten him up and got another $100 out of the deal? Maybe so. But what's the point? It's a great deal already. You know, pay the, pay the man. When somebody offers you a really good deal on something, just buy it. Get it over with. Get, get, it's more important to secure the deal than it is to try to break somebody's arm and get the, the screaming deal of the century. You know, yeah, every now and then you'll hear about somebody buying something like this at a garage sale for a hundred bucks. And, you know, yeah, I, I hope uh, the sun shines on me and I get something like this for a hundred bucks someday. But that's just not realistic. Um, <clears throat> the, the leg set for this lathe is worth between three and four hundred dollars. And it's really a desirable one because it's got a, an oil pan. Um, you know, a chip and oil pan that will contain some fluids. So it's really, this is something that, had I found a set of these legs, um, you know, the complete Atlas setup, someplace for 300 bucks, I probably would have snapped out the money and got it. This way, I get what I want. I get my nice cast iron leg set, and I get a lathe, um, and a whole, a whole toolbox full of stuff. You know, it's... Uh, I think it's, you know, I think it's just, it just pays to pay the price. There's just no way this would have been waiting for me a whole 24 hours had I not uh, done what I did. So, very pleased with this purchase. Um, I, I've got to make room in the garage somehow. And uh, what I spent on it, I need to recover it uh, somehow. So I've got a few things that I can sell. So I'll be selling a couple of things to get that money back and I'll, I'll have a nice lathe. I will have improved my position in the tool world. So this concludes another video in the back of the truck and this will be uh, the subject of some future videos and when I decide what I'm going to do with it. Check out the feet this fella installed on these lathes on his uh, lathe bed here. This is a nice heavy duty machine foot and he said he had this installed in a basement in his prior home and the floor was very uneven and this allowed him to level the lathe properly. Um, this is a modification, home modification, but wow what a nice job he did. Uh, definitely an appropriate appropriate part for the job here. Uh, he was into making gun parts, uh, worked for uh, a company that made silencers and things like that so the guy appreciated uh, uh, good quality manufacturing.